All right, what up, everybody? It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to this vlog. Here to give you a preview of the TCU Horn Frogs for the 2017 college football season. Head coach Gary Patterson had a struggling season last year. They um, actually ended the season with a loss in their um, bowl matchup, ending 6-7 and seven overall. They're looking to try to rebound here, but this is going to be a tough competition in Big 12 play. Now, they do have the return of quarterback Kenny Hill, who did have over 3,200 yards passing last season. 17 touchdowns, but 13 interceptions. Needs to do a better job in his decision-making. Where is that guy that we saw at Texas A&M early in the season a couple years ago? It's just, it's just not clicking with him no more. I think he just lost his confidence, not really believing in himself. I thought because of his jump start at Texas A&M, I thought he was going to be a stud for the Aggies, and then he transferred to uh, TCU. Still not looking too good. He's looking to try to get a more of a breakout season this year, of a comeback season this year. Now, they who do have a 1,000-yard rusher returning last season in Kyle Hicks, and he also had over 400 yards receiving last season as well. So he's a good uh, multi-purpose um, yards from scrimmage type running back. And they do have the return of Cavante Tarpin, who can be very dangerous in special teams. He is a All Big 12 special teams performer. Now, if you take a look at the offensive line, they do have the return of center and senior on um, Austin uh, Shotlet, uh, Shalotman. Sorry for mispronouncing your name. Uh, nope. Note boom, uh, Joseph is the left tackle. Pat Morris and uh, M Matt Pryor are also decent players in the offensive line. Try to build better protection for Kenny Hill. He needs to build more confidence this season. Like I said, he needs to have a comeback year in Hill. Um, if you look at the defense, Chris Bradley and um, Matt Boseman both combined for 11 sacks last season. They need to um, actually get more sacks because they no longer have Josh Carraway, who led the team with, I believe, nine sacks last season. But they do have the return of a great linebacker in Trevon Howard, who led the team with 130 tackles. Defensive backs, they do have some good defensive back players as far as the defensive backfield. Um, and um, Nico Small and Nick Orr both had registered 80 tackles, 80 plus tackles last season and combined for six interceptions and nine pass breakups for Small alone. So this shows they have the good cover skills. They just need to get more things better offensively as far as their passing attack. Better decision making from quarterback Kenny Hill. Now, it's time for me to take a look at the schedule. This is going to be a tough week, um, season for them. They have um, September 9th against Arkansas. And then on September 25th, I believe, um, they have Oklahoma State. That's a scare. October the 7th against West Virginia. Kansas State on October the 14th. November the 4th against Texas. November the 11th against OU. And then they wrap up their season on the 24th of November against Baylor. Now, this is going to be a tough break for them because I think they actually have one of the tougher schedules of the Big 12 Conference. Seriously, because like I mentioned before um, in my previous video, West Virginia could be a good sleeper in the Big 12. Then you have to deal with Texas, Kansas State, um, um, OU, and Oklahoma State. It's too much of a scare for TCU. I don't think they're going to rebound on what they did last season. I think Coach Patterson job might be in jeopardy if they do not pull at least a winning season this year. So I think this year they're going to go 6-6 six and six and barely become bowl eligible. Now the next time to catch you guys and be in just a couple minutes, I have three more blogs for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keem McCall. Be easy.